In this video, I will show you the performance results I got from the Senderawashi strategy. That trading algo was very popular on the Fractrade Discord at a certain time in the past. So let's get right to it. Now, there was a time in the past where I was hoarding trading strategy codes left and right from the internet and from GitHub. And during that time, I did not write down the sources where I got all this code from. And I regret that because not always the author leaves his or her names in the code. Now, luckily for us, this time the possible author uh, did left his or her name in the code. So where all the credits for this algo go to you. I'm just a guy who tests this strategy on uh, my specific setup and show you the results on the YouTube. Now, what about the trading algorithm? At first sight, the uh, strategy uses the weighting moving average, the whole moving average and the rolling uh, volume indicator, uh, because you can see this from the parts of the code here. Now, the ROI has been set to 100% profit and the stop loss uh, to almost a 10% loss after entering the trade. And the author decided to use the five minute time frame uh, because probably it had the best results on his or her setup. Now, the code has loads of possibilities for further optimization, as you can see in this part. But uh, since this introduces a curve fitting bias, I will not optimize this algorithm, but will test it on its current merits to see if it performs well out of the box. But of course, you are always allowed to optimize this algo, albeit on your own risk, of course. Furthermore, the algo uses the one day time frame as an informative time frame. Now, other indicators used in this algo are the RSI and the squeeze momentum indicator from the Finta library. So be sure to have that library installed also before using this algorithm. Then there is also this nifty live data check that ensures that there is sufficient volume data by checking that the minimum volume uh, over the past 72 periods is greater than zero implying that the data is live or at least recent. Now, next, there is a section that calculates various moving averages uh, with specific offsets. These are used to smooth out price data and identify possible potential buy or sell signals. And you can always look into each of these by yourself if you want. Now, what about the buy signals? This part constructs a set of conditions combining the indicators and filters defined above. And these conditions include checks against live data, age filters, volatility, volume volatility, price comparisons with EMAs, HMAs, and the RSI thresholds. And to give you one example here, uh, here in this section, this checks first if the condition is true. Uh, and if so, then this buy condition can be a part of the buy signal. However, uh, if you look up in the code, in this case it is false uh, and this condition will not count against the buy conditions. So in a way, you also have the possibility to switch certain indicators on and off without having to uh, alter all the complete blocks of code here. If the configured buy conditions are met, then the strategy tags the trade and sets the buy signal, indicating that a buy order should be placed. Now, as for the sell signals, uh, this part establishes a set of criteria for selling, which includes price comparisons with uh, uh, certain moving averages. And each condition is tagged with a specific label for easy identification. You can also see here that there are conditions that check if the configured parameter is switched on or off. And in the end, this method combines all sell conditions and uh, have an additional check of positive volume. And if any of the combined conditions are met, then a sell signal is generated to sell the position. So all in all, this strategy uses a combination of momentum, volume, volatility and price action to identify potential buy and sell opportunities. And it also has a mix of uh, short term and long term indicators to capture different market dynamics. And the strategy also includes optimization flags, so you can optimize it if you need to. But what about the performance that comes right out of the box? Is this trading algorithm worth your time and money? Now, let's start with the end results of all the tests over all time frames I use. 
And as you can see here, the initially chosen time frame has indeed the best scores. It does not have the highest end balance, but my personal opinion is that uh, keeping the attained wealth is more important than the highest gains at a certain point in time. So this one seems to have the best cards. However, there is still one thing that bothers me a little bit, and that is that there are less trades made on the 5 minute time frame than some of the other higher time frames. And that could be an indication that this algorithm has a potential future performance problem and might need some more investigation. Now the potential profit curve on the other hand looks very promising and the way this algo holds onto its attained profits uh, was rarely seen on other algos I tested in the past. And on this plot you can see that there is almost a striking similarity between the profit curve and the amount of winning trades here, which is very particular. Now, the way this algorithm holds onto its profits is also shown back in the drawdown curve. I think that I have not seen another algorithm with such a small highest and average drawdown. And although this looks really nice on a plot, you should always uh, wonder why this is so. Uh, it's not quite realistic uh, with all the experiences I have on this moment. Now, comparing this strategy's attained end balance with the other strategies I tested in the past, then it shows that there are many other uh, strategies that eventually perform better. However, you should take all factors into consideration and some strategies with higher results also come with higher risk, as you can see here. And overall, the performance indicators show a very mixed picture here. The win percentage, drawdown uh, and profit factor are excellent in this strategy and it seems to fit most of the pairs I test. But looking at the profit percentage, CHR, Sortina and Sharp, this sheds a totally different light on the strategy. There are very low numbers here. And all this mixed information gives me personally also some mixed feelings about this algo. There are certainly a lot of possibilities to tweak this algo, a lot of cocks to turn and switches to flip to make it probably perform better on the factors where I have my doubts. Uh, and it might have very promising results if you find the right combination uh, on your preferred pairs, of course. So take all this information into consideration before using this algo uh, and decide to turn your attention to the strategy for further trading. So all in all, adding all current scores up from this particular configuration, it makes this strategy end up in the upper third section of the best performing algorithms, which is still not bad. And this brings me directly to the end of this video. So thank you for watching and if you like these videos, don't forget to click the like button and please subscribe because I see that still a lot of you watchers still haven't found the subscribe button yet. Now all output like the code, result plots and other data is available on my Patreon site, so you can always check and verify my results. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.